Cholera is easy to treat, but it hits so quickly and with such force, the challenge is to stay ahead of it. In 25 to 50 percent of cases without treatment, the patient's blood pressure drops rapidly and they can die within hours. Here is a patient who's just arrived. He's pretty lethargic. We just inserted an IV. He's beginning to open his eyes. But when he arrived, his extremities were very cold, and we couldn't feel his pulse. At the very beginning of an epidemic, you have to set up one or more cholera treatment centers, CTCs. CTCs have three main patient areas, observation, hospitalization, and convalescence. A marked circuit shows the entrance for the patients and their caregivers. There's a staff zone which includes laundry and supplies, a waste management zone, and a morgue. In CTCs, vast volumes of chlorinated water are available to clean the floor and to wash hands and feet. In order to prevent further contamination, patients follow a fixed circuit through the CTC. Treatment is based on rehydration. 80% of patients can be treated with oral rehydration. Intravenous fluid is only used if the patient is severely dehydrated. Improvement is seen within hours and full recovery without any after effects within days. Alongside treatment, the environment must be clean. Clean latrines and chlorinated drinking water are priorities. The use of cholera treatment centers during epidemics can help keep the case fatality below 1%. In addition, antibiotics are used to reduce the quantity and duration of diarrhea, reduce the necessary volume of rehydration solutions, and speed up the elimination of the bacteria from the body. To prevent the development of antibiotic resistance, mass antibiotic use is limited. Cholera vaccines are considered a complementary activity in the control of cholera. Two vaccines are available, which provide, on average, 65% protection, one of them for at least five years. They're both two-dose oral vaccines. Although organizing a mass vaccination campaign during an epidemic requires significant resources, vaccination can help reduce the total number of cases.